first thing you notice at Grayston Bakery is the smell of chocolate. The second is the sense of just how grateful the employees are to be working here. Unlimited brownies for free. For 27-year-old Devone Cardwell, it's not just the free brownies. It's the fact that Grayston was willing to give him a job despite a drunk driving conviction. If I didn't find Grayston, it was just, I don't know where I'll be. Probably be doing something not illegal, probably something really bad, or probably in jail, or probably selling drugs, or doing just something that's not productive. Workers here are hired on a no questions asked, no experience required basis. That's helpful not only for those with criminal records, but also refugees or single mothers who have limited work experience. You know, open hiring, trust in the power of people. Uh, we believe anyone has the potential to be effective on the job, so we're willing to give anyone a chance. Now, we're a business, so we need people to perform on the job. Uh, if they don't, we ask them to leave and we give the next person an opportunity. Instead of spending time and money on interviews and background checks, the company focuses on providing support services for its employees. That, he claims, leads to a loyal workforce and a healthy bottom line. Grayston produces 33,000 pounds of baked goods a day for companies like Ben & Jerry's and Delta. After 35 years in the brownie business, Grayston has launched a center for open hiring. They're hoping to encourage other businesses to adopt their recipe for success, a more inclusive workforce. They say they're benefiting from an untapped labor market and helping to keep people from returning to prison. If people don't have a job after release or soon after, um, their likelihood of committing another offense goes up astronomically. For Cardwell, the experience has been life-changing. I feel like if I leave there, I have the right amount of skills to go anywhere else because they give you that, they offer you that here. And the more people who can support themselves, the less who will need public assistance. A sweet deal for all. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, Yonkers, New York.